Hello everybody, welcome back to Archery Country YouTube. This is Wade and it is like Christmas in the archery world as far as new bow release day. And today, Matthews, one of the award-winning and leaders in the industry has released their brand new 2023 models. This is the phase four from Matthews Archery. There's a ton of things that you're gonna notice on this bow that are different. Matthews has done an excellent job of always being innovative, always increasing, pushing the limits deadening sound, taking vibration, making things quiet, and they've actually incorporated what we call a system, a hunting system in all of their bows. The phase four does not fall short of that. You're gonna see a lot of similarities from the last year's model, but also a lot of new technology that we incorporate. First and foremost, as we talk about the phase four, is we have a brand new limb system, and this is gonna be the resistance phase dampening system. And what that does is back in the day we always had solid limb bows and then we graduated to having a split limb technology with just two limbs that work together. We're even pushing the envelope more. Now we have four limbs, top, four limbs, bottom. So it's actually eight different limbs. If you're looking at the system like that, that's actually connected in the center by that rubber dampening system. And the philosophy and the technology behind this is every archer is just a little bit different. Everybody torques their bow just a little bit different. Every draw length's a little different. Every poundage is a little bit different. So when we speak of limb deflection at full draw, your limbs can actually deflect or what we say come out of phase. So they've incorporated this rubber sequence, tying the two limbs together in a very solid technology of bringing everything back. So when we, after the shot, <clears throat> we bring the limbs back into phase. And what this does is it drastically reduces noise. All of the energy is stored in that limb. And when we can reduce the noise of that up to 10% quieter, just on the new phase four. And again, that's called the resistance phase dampening. Awesome setup as we move to the bow from the limbs. Again, we're gonna be looking at the cam system, exactly the same as last year with our switch weight module. And the mods not only control your draw length, but also gonna control your draw weight. As we look at the 29 this year, this is the first of three introductions. The 29, again, 29 inches axle to axle. We're gonna have a six inch brace height. This is gonna shoot 340 feet per second. Draw lengths on this are gonna be 25 and a half to 30 inches. So we cover a wide spectrum of that. Very compact, awesome bow for in the tree stand and the ground blind spot and stock hunts. You're gonna have an extremely long riser that we've noticed in the last couple of years with Matthews. And that is a very, Great concept. A lot of people think that forgiveness and the stability in your shot platform come from your axle axle length, but it actually comes down on your stability platform and your riser length. So this 29 holds much like a 34, 35 inch bow just on that. And it's not just your hold. After your shot, you're gonna have more forgiveness in a longer riser bow because you have less moving parts, less torque. And it's just an overall great experience, which we've all experienced on the Matthews line. And they stayed with the, the one, this is one of three in the 29 inch. As we move down again from the switch weight, 60, 65, 70, and 75 pounds on your draw length. We move down the riser. You're gonna notice we still have the bridge lock technology where we can throw that bridge lock sight. Almost all the sight companies out there have incorporated a new dovetail bar that'll fit in there. Again, the connection point is incredibly stronger uh, mounting apparatus. It's very lightweight when you run it there. Center of gravity is closer to your grip. We move down from the bridge lock. We still have our dovetail setup for the integrate rest system like this one from QAD. Or if you look at the Hamski setup or ripcord, they all have uh, a setup that you can run on that dovetail or use the burger button. Going down, I still have an engaged grip that we can run. This is the engaged grip full rubber. You also can get engaged side plates or aftermarket grips that are gonna fit on there. So you can get that streamlined ergonomical uh, 12 to 14 degree pitch there. So you kind of really center your shot, center your grip every time, very repeatable. And that's what you want in archery. Something that you've already fixed your eyes on is a brand new system on our stabilizer setup. This is our bridge lock stabilizer setup from Matthews. There's a ton of key points that are gonna go into this. We've all had different style stabilizers and we all know stabilizers to be carbon. This year, Matthews on their Bridgelock stabilizer is we're gonna crack it down to an aluminum setup. 
so incredibly strong. There are absolutely no weak points. In the years past, we've always had a quick disconnect where we'd mount the stabilizer, we'd have a piece of carbon that we would attach to an aluminum, rather it be the end stock, and then from there we had a stud, and that stud would go in and thread into the riser or into a quick disconnect slug. There's always a weak point. So even if you had a high modulus carbon and then you put the aluminum parts onto there, you're gonna weaken that stabilizer at some point, which again adds vibration and sound. Now we have an entirely all aluminum setup, which incorporates right into the riser. So there's no weakness in connection points. And one of the unique things that I noticed right away when I picked it up and shot it is I can take these stabilizers, which come in an eight, a 10, and a 12 inch bar, and I can customize it. I can have a seven and a half inch bar. I can have an eight and a half inch bar. I can run an 11 inch bar. So every archer is a little different. Every archer has a different style or a different form on that, different sights, different weights, different going on there. So bridge lock stabilizing system. On the front bar here, you see it's right into the riser and then they have a brand new back bar adjustable mount that they can run the bridge lock bar. And another really cool feature that you really don't think about until it comes time to put your bow away in your case or travel is we usually have to take these bars off and put them in our case or put them in a, a stabilizer sleeve and set them apart. Now we can literally slide this in so it fits in the case. You don't have to have a quick disconnect at all and the adjustability is a great feature. All aluminum, we're gonna have stainless steel one ounce weights. We can actually stack out. You do not have a stud system to where you're gonna screw on. You can stack up to 14 ounces on each one of these bars with the new inner link system, stainless steel weights. So great, great addition to Matthews on that, the harmonic dampening system. Again, this is the 29 phase four from Matthews Archery. And what we're gonna do now is go give you some real world speeds. We'll shoot through a chrono with four different arrow weights to kind of customize and see where you're gonna be at. And we're gonna have a couple different draw lengths on that. All right, now we're gonna give you some real life speeds. This is the phase four 29. We're gonna be at 28 inches draw length, 70 pounds, four different arrow weights, and we'll read off the speeds for you. First arrow is gonna be 350 grains. Three hundred seventeen feet per second. Next arrow, we're going to be four hundred and fourteen grains. So, a little bit more on your lighter, maybe out west arrow. Three hundred ninety-four feet per second. Next, we'll move to four hundred and sixty-four grains. major area for almost all your archers on the moderate arrow build. 278 feet per second. And our last arrow is 504 grains total arrow. And again, this is 28 inches, 70 pounds. 268 feet per second on the phase four 29, 2870. All right, back on the range with Matthew's phase four 29 inch axle axle. This is gonna be 30 inches, 70 pounds. So very close to your IBO speeds. First arrow of four is gonna be 350 grains. Three hundred and thirty-five feet per second. So that's only five feet per second below IBO is what they're calling. Take your monkey tails off, run that, be perfect setup. This is, next arrow is gonna be 414 grains. 310 feet per second. Next arrow is gonna be 464 grains your average hunting arrow setup. Two hundred and ninety four feet per second. And your moderately heavy five hundred and four grain arrow. Two hundred and 
283 feet per second. Again, the Matthews Phase 4, 29. This is gonna be at 30 inches, 70 pounds. So there you got a chance to see some awesome speeds, some real life speeds that you're gonna use with all different areas of hunting arrows. So it's a very, very smooth draw. It's, it's a very fast, quick, awesome dynamic setup on the 29 inch again for your tree stand, your ground blind, spot and stock, very rugged riser and a ton of awesome ingenuity all rolled into a beautiful package. You can find all of these bows at any of our three locations in our pro shops. Come in, demo them. We're gonna have stabilizers for you to try out, kind of inter introduce yourself to the bridge like technology if you haven't already. And if you do, if you wanna see more of our 2023 bow reviews, just click up top and check out the playlist and like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.